Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to paint some yellow daffodils. This is going to be a real-time video, so feel free to paint along. Daffodil is a popular flower for Easter. You can use this painting for an Easter card or decoration. The art supplies I'm going to use in this painting are Canson Excel coat press paper. I cut it into half, so the final size is 9 inches by 6 inches. Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolor paint sketcher pocket box, which comes in with 12 half pen colors. Princeton snap brush, size 6. I'm not going to do any sketching today, but if you're not comfortable to paint without a sketch, feel free to draw the outline of the flower first. I'm going to start with the center cup of the flower using the darker yellow on my palette, which is cadmium yellow hue in this case, to paint a roughly rounded shape with jagged edge. While the pigment is still wet on the paper, I'm going to add an outline around the outside of the cup. I mix a little bit of the red-orange color, cadmium red pale hue, to the cadmium yellow and drop it along the edge. Since the first layer is still wet, the red-orange color will blend in smoothly. This is called the wet on wet technique. It's one of my favorite watercolor techniques. I have some other videos explaining this technique, which I'll link in the description box below. I add a little bit sap cream to the center of the cup to create the shadow. I want to have this flower facing to the side slightly, so I'm going to add the side of the cup so it doesn't look like we're looking at it from the front. Adding yellow ochre to create a slightly darker and more muted shade, I paint the side of the cup. Moving on to the petals, I'm using a light yellow, lemon yellow hue in my palette for the petals. A daffodil flower has 6 petals, but since this one is slightly facing the side, I will paint the petals that are closer to us bigger and the ones behind smaller. Try not to touch the center if your paint is still wet to avoid one color bleeding into the other. You can leave random white spot on the paddle to create some highlights.
In order to add shadow to the petals, I mix a very small amount of sap green to create a green yellow shade. After finish painting all six petals, I'm going back to darken some of the shadows in the center. Now we're done with the first flower. For the second flower, I want to make it facing straight to us. Again, starting from the cup-shaped center. Using the cadmium yellow hue to create the shape, adding the orange yellow outline using wet on wet technique. Now I'm painting the six petals of the second flower. Since this one is facing us, all the petals will be relatively the same size. It's actually easier than the first flower. Adding small amount of sap green to create some shadows. Strengthen the shadow here and there until you're happy with the contrast.
let's work on the stem and the leaves. I mix sap green, a little bit ultramarine, and some Allison crimson hue to create a mutual color for the part where the flower connects with the green stem. You can also use other gray mixture, for example, ultramarine and burnt umber. Adding a lot more sap green for the main stem. Find the flow of the stem and be careful with the area where it's overlapping with the flower. I'm mixing a slightly darker green by adding more sap green and some more ultramarine. Paint the shadow on the stem to make it look more 3D. Daffodils have long skinny leaves. It's easy to create them when you use the belly of your brush and drag a long stroke on the paper. I like to create these leaves using slightly different shades to make the painting look more dynamic. One trick to create depths is use lighter color for the leaves that are further away and more concentrated color for the ones that are close to us. This part of the painting is very relaxing for me. Just enjoy each brush stroke and have fun with the colors.
Okay, now I'm done with my daffodil painting. This is a quick and loose painting. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. And if you're painting along and you're posting your final art on Instagram, please tag me at fengyu.art, F-E-N-G-Y-U.art. I would love to see your painting. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or message me on Instagram. Happy painting! See you in the next video!